Hello students, so today I'm going to be working and adding audio to an animation. So I already downloaded the audio that I wanted. So I have a blowtorch sound, so this is the sound. And I also have water bubbles. To get them, I used um, this website, Antiva. Um, and I used YouTube, so I searched for the sound effect that I wanted. I copied the link of the YouTube and I pasted it here. And when you paste it, you're going to have uh, these options. So choose audio and choose wave. The format should be wave. So download it and then you would have the file. Okay, so let's start to add it. The first thing I want to do, if you notice, that it's only one second. So I want it to be three seconds. So let me select the frames and then shortcut uh, F5. So now the length of the animation is three seconds. Now I'm gonna add a folder, name this sound. So I want to keep everything organized and I'm gonna add two layers, okay? One layer, I'm gonna name it bubbles, okay? So this is where I'm gonna add the sound, okay? And I'm also gonna have a layer called flame gonna add it here so the first thing I'm gonna do is add the sound effect of the bubbles so I'm gonna click my library here and select the files so I have the water bubbles and the blowtorch and I'm gonna just drag them inside the library in my bubbles layer I'm going to select the water bubbles sound gonna drag it in the stage okay so the first thing that you're gonna notice is that I have the wave here the waves of the sound and if I play click enter you could hear my wave file <laughs> okay so if you don't hear the sound you have to uh, select it and then in the properties choose in the sync instead of event choose stream so this is how you're gonna hear it and also you could notice that you have different options so you can choose effect you could make it fade to the right fade in fade out or you could customize it also you could choose to repeat it or loop the sound just add a slight uh, fade in and fade out for the audio so i'm gonna click on the sound and then choose this edit sound envelope so click this let me zoom out so if i click this magnifying zoom out you'll see the sound and uh, so this is where it's gonna start and this is where it's gonna end so if i click this so i'm clicking this point and i'm gonna click another point and this is the way that it's gonna be it's gonna be faded in so the sound will be muted here and then it's gonna be um, increased now I'm, I want to fade out so I'm gonna click another cl uh, another uh, point and then drag this point so now the sound is fading in and then it fades out okay so this is what I want um, I'm gonna do this again here so just click this and I'm just gonna drag the points here so I have like an arch kind of shape. Okay, you could play it. Yeah, I think this is good. Okay, play. Now I'm gonna add the flame sound. So uh, again, in the library, and I'm just gonna drag it in. Okay, now if I play. What I want now is for the sound to not start in this point. I want it to start after the click. Because I don't want to hear the click in the sound. So when I click the sound here, and then also customize it. So I'm going to click this. And I'm simply, first I'm going to zoom out. Okay, so this is where the click happens. I want it to start after the click. So I want it to start here. So I could do this by simply dragging this hand here so I'm dragging it and now it's selecting only these points 
And again, I'm gonna fade in and fade out to just give it a smooth touch. So I'm just creating points. So you create a point just by clicking on the line and then you drag down. So for this audio, you'll notice that in the right channel, so this at the bottom one is the right channel, it has more sound and in the left it has a lower sound. So I'm not sure the person that created it did this. Um, so I'm just going to drag the right channel and make it less. Okay, now if I play, play. Okay, now to publish the file, what you want to do is click File, Publish Settings, and then Audio Stream and Audio Events, select them, and make them WIL. So instead of MP3, make them WIL. So this will maintain the quality of the sound, and it won't, you know, make it sounds compressed or change it, okay? So just do this, okay? So OK, and then File, Export, Export Movie, and then the file format, SWF, Save. 